In this episode, I want to show you how to build a PhoneGap iOS app with jQuery Mobile that looks like a native iOS app. In the last episode, I talked about install PhoneGap and create the first example project that we're seeing here. For those who don't see the video, I will run up the simulator to show it to you how it looks like. It takes up a couple of seconds and we switch to the iOS simulator and already here is basically the startup phone gap project we have to change text to my first phone gap app so we can close this stop the simulator and what we are doing now is you ever see it here we switch to G query mobile to download the latest JavaScript files and cascading style sheets. You see the latest stable version. I would always recommend to take the latest version. For development reasons I prefer the the uncompressed version query dot mobile one two three two dot js yeah I've already downloaded it but I will replace it and what's also important is the cascading stashes file useful for this bugging receiver here including the default team Save it. And what you also need is the usually jQuery <coughs> from jQuery UI that is probably not jQuery UI. That's my mistake, jQuery.com. <laughs> so we can download here the latest version. Also the uncompressed. I recommend if you want to publish the, the app, use it the compressed version because you can uh, minimize the, the space you will need. So what we're doing now, we switch to the www folder, show it up in the finder, we we'll make a new finder tab. Yeah, I saved it to documents. <coughs> Take jQuery, jQuery mobile and this copy it to the clipboard, go to the www folder that we see here, put our in here and take the scaling style sheets file and go to CSS. So put it in there. Alright, we got the scaling style sheet in here and the child script files in there. What we need now is to link it to our page. So we turn off the side view and grab more space. What we do now is copy this line. CSS is right. But we don't know it. You can, it's the simplest way to copy the name from this. Go back, hit Alt, tuck. And the last thing we need is to do the two script files. I would recommend to put this in the header because it's already loaded. We don't need the inlash at this time. And we say phone gap that is correct. We use the index that is also correct, but we got two more to include. We include the jQuery and the jQuery mobile. JavaScript to our source code. So we switch back to JS, take jQuery. 
go back to the index file, place this, and you also take up the jQuery mobile JavaScript file. We go back, place this. So at this point, we've got everything included. We've got a default uh, jQuery mobile team. What we're doing now is to replace this diff container because we don't want to show up the default. And that comes the important thing with jQuery mobile. We write a diff. And very important here is the data role. We set up a page. We set up a team. This is probably the default A. And we may set up an ID for development reasons to say page one. We close the diff tag. All right. And our uh, data team that is probably the content. The content can be placed in every page once. The different types can also have a different team, but it not must be. And we say this is page one. Content. So what we're going to do now to show up some reasons we are adding a button that has an on-click event which we must program is show pop-up. Let's give the button text that we call show pop-up as simple as it could be yeah this could mean that it only on the page in the content section we got a button and we want to click it we want to show the pop-up what we're doing now is change to the Linux file and this is the simplest way I recommend you to generate a newly a JS file if you got more source code and I guess it would be but at this time we only have to write the function the function name and we make it as simple as possible we only show up an alert that is called pop-up hit save and after this we can run up the simulator that build succeeded now we see a page with pop-up button if we click the button, a pop-up appears. But this looks not very, not very big. You get only one huge button that looks not very good. Now we're gonna change the app. And kind of like that, we are adding a header and a footer. Now I'm going to add a header to make it more look like an app. For this, we got an active with the data row named. Header, it's very important. Yeah, we can say data team, but I appreciate this inheritance. We set it to A. I also command it. Close the div and make write something. I get H2 is very good. My app and close the tag. Uh, after this time we hit run. We should see that the header with my app and under it the uh, pop-up or the button for clicking show pop-up. Switch to the simulator, takes up a second. Starting to splash screen system and we see my app show pop-up. This is very dark, you can change it made to see, looks like a bit brighter, it's more grey, but these are design reasons. And we also can add a footer with the row equals footer if you want. Data team 
is just an RC right here made in a three copyright my app it's not very spectacular closing text and we rerun the simulator Let me see, uh, the filter is here, is in the end of the app. Yeah, if you can see here uh, the footer, the footer is underneath the show power button. If you want the footer more done, you can make uh, line breaks like that. But most reasons you add, add enough content that there is no need for metalax sticks. Now we go here, hit stop. Maybe we can make some interesting stuff. We make here an input tag under the button with the ID of text input. Add a style. Style is important. Say this is text input. We go to hit run to see what's happening. Yeah, we got here the input phase. We can right here the piece of magli. If we click outside or down, goes down. And now if you want to use the input text, it's very simple. Yeah, I would recommend you to use the command get element by ID, take the ID's text input and Get the value out of it. I'm not sure if we need the value. So we got here, say test, show pop up, and receive test in there. So this was my video to show you the basic functionality of jQuery in combination with PhoneGap to build up apps that look like native PhoneGap apps. I know this is not very the best, the best example, but it gives you a feeling what you can do with apps like this. There are a very interesting, a very interesting homepage. This calls the Query Mobile Team Roller. You can customize your JavaScript online and have real time looking. Yeah, if you got here, go to the Team Roller tour. It's quite loading, and you got always a preview to change. So if you took this, you can make here go and make it red or something like that. It's very, 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 very useful and very powerful to build up your app and make it look like unique. Thanks for watching.